Hi guys, this is Alan and um, you know, last time we talked a little bit about um, denim versus chambray and the differences between the two. There were a lot of questions because it was so succinct and um, brief. Uh, but the point there was that I wanted to make that difference, our main difference between the two. And because you guys had so many questions, then I thought I might do a deeper dive into what is denim and what is chambray. Now, we have quite a bit of denim at the armory. Let me show you a few things. We obviously have jeans, which is made in denim, and also, you know, shirts, which is made in denim as well. Now, these two are essentially the same type of cloth, although obviously in terms of quality, they're quite different. Now, technically, the denim is defined as uh, having that indigo warp and the white weft. Now that creates that texture or sort of that depth that you have um, in terms of a twill weave. Now that twill weave is still relevant here because denim is woven in a twill. A lot of the time in a three by one twill. Um, now in the denim, in the jeans, obviously the weight is a lot heavier. And in terms of the yarns that they use, which is essentially um, basically the threads that they use, it's used in a much coarser sort of yarn. So what you have is sort of a thicker, chunkier feel to it. Um, and obviously they tend to use heavier weights uh, for a denim jean. And the shirts, then what you have are typically finer versions of that denim. So what you have is, again, a lighter version of that. Um, but yes, it's still a twill weave in that sense. And that's what you call denim. A lot of the time, then uh, it is associated with that indigo dye that you have in the warp. And the indigo is what contributes to that blueness, obviously. Uh, but at the same time, denim has sort of evolved over time as well. Uh, you have things like white denim, for example. Technically, it's not really a denim because it doesn't have that indigo or blue warp to it. But in that sense, or in that case, a lot of that denim portion is attributed to the weave. Uh, but yeah, that is denim in a nutshell. Now we come to chambray. A lot of the time chambray is referred to as a light denim, which isn't really the case. I mean, it does have that texture to it and that slubbiness that you associate with both. Um, but uh, in the case of chambray, there is an actual weave definition to it, which is a plain weave, again, with a uh, uh, warp, a colored warp and a white weft. Now, uh, in that case, when I say colored, is that chambray can actually be of any color. So you can have red chambray, blue chambray, brown, green, whatever you want, but it has that colored weft or warp to it. Um, now, in terms of chambray and that textured, sort of what makes that sort of plain weave different from, let's say, a poplin, for example, is I guess people tend to associate that slubbiness to it. And that slubbiness actually comes from I guess legend has it, you know, not legend, but a lot of what uh, chambray was used for in the past was as standard issue to the army. And uh, in the army, then a lot of the slubbiness came from the wear and tear and also the use and, and, and that closeness to seawater. And that gave it that slubby effect or that worn effect that we now attribute to modern chambres. Now, in terms of weaving chambre nowadays, a lot of the mills tend to use slubby yarns to start off with to give it that texture that we sort of associate chambre with. Now, having that slubbiness comes from um, essentially that yarn or that thread itself being finished in a way that is quite natural. So when you see that, it's almost like defects in the cloth where it's not plain and smooth. You have all these like little, what we call buttons in Italian. Um, where you have all these buttons and almost like defects in the cloth, but that's essentially just the natural yarn sort of poking through, uh, but it gives it a lot of texture and richness through the cloth. Denim, or chambray rather, chambray is supposed to be a bit lighter, obviously, and originally supposed to be a bit more breathable. So, in essence, it is a lighter and more breathable version of denim. Um, but yeah, uh, there you have it. Uh, a bit more on uh, denim and chambray.